जब मैंने सोचा मैं अकेला हूँ तब प्रभु यीशु ने मुझसे कहा संसार के अंत तक साथ रहने वाला मैं तेरे साथ हूँ संसार के अंत तक साथ रहने वाला मैं तेरे साथ हूँ द लॉर्ड इज विथ यू विथ मी विद ऑल ऑफ आस वाई because we are valuable and precious in his holy sight welcome back to the other 167 i am vandana and i bring you greetings in the name of lord jesus christ our true living god so friends i hope you all are fine and praying so tell me what makes you valuable what decides your value uh the brands you wear or the lifestyle that you have the followers you have on instagram or facebook no the real value comes from the lord the lord has already made us very very precious in his holy sight by giving his life for us on the cross he's bought us with his blood and that's what makes us precious for him and he's never going to leave us till the end of the day so friends we have today with us sister vijaya fernandez who's going to explain to us that how god has made us beautiful precious valuable in his holy sight so let's welcome sister vijaya fernandez hi welcome to the other 167 today i'm going to talk about you are valuable once a son asked his mom mom what's my value what's my worth his mom looked at him and she smiled then she went to her bag she removed one stone and she gave it to her son she said son go find the value of this stone and come back to me then i will answer your question the son took the stone and he went to the market In the market he saw a salesman. He asked the salesman, "Sir, can you please tell me the value of this stone?" The salesman looked at the stone. He said, "Well, I don't know the value of this stone, but I can give you a banana for this stone." The son took the stone and he went to the museum. In the museum, he showed it to one of the persons, and the person looked at him and he said, "I think it would cost few lakhs but right now young man we don't have a need of this stone so the boy took the stone and he came to a jeweler the jeweler looked at the stone and he was surprised he said wow this is a priceless gem where did you find it i can pay you crores of rupees to get this gem the son took the gem and he returned home after he came home he told his mother about the salesman about the person in the museum about the jeweler and he told his mom this is what everybody had to say about this gem his mother said son people will tell you your value based on their point of view but the fact is you are priceless just like this gem it's priceless so you are priceless Amen. I believe God wants to say this to you today that you are priceless. You are valuable. Amen. Some people think their value comes from their performance. If I perform well, if I study well, I will feel valued. If I be a successful businessman, I'll feel valued. If I do lot of good works, I will feel valued. But let me tell you a value does not come from our performance when jesus was baptized by john the baptist and he was coming out of the river the holy spirit came over jesus and a voice came from heaven this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased till this point of time in jesus' life jesus had not done any miracles He had not raised the dead person. He had not healed the sick people. He had not given eyes to the blind. He had not made the lame walk. But still, he was valued by God because he was the son. He was his father's son. That's what made him feel valuable. So our value does not come from our performance. 
Some people think our value is based on our possessions. But let me tell you, if you have a big mansion and you think it will make me feel valuable, if you have many cars and you feel it will make me feel valuable, if you have a designer outfit and you think if I wear that, I'll feel valuable, if I have branded shoes, if I wear that, I'll feel valuable. That's not true. Material things will make you happy, but your value will not come from your material possessions. Amen. Some people think their value comes from popularity. If I become a great scientist, if I become a talented musician, if I become an inspiring teacher, if I become a firefighter, a courageous firefighter, then I will get my value. But our value is not based on our popularity. Some people feel if I have more friends on Facebook, I will feel valued. If I have a lot of followers on Instagram, I'm going to feel valued. But our value does not come from all these things. It doesn't come from our performance, what we do. It doesn't come from our possessions, what we have. And it doesn't come from our popularity or how popular I am or how popular you are. But our value comes from from God. Amen. Our value comes from God. And the best way to understand how valued you are is to hear what God has to say about you through his word. Amen. Bible says in Genesis 1, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God created you. God created me. The psalmist said in Psalm 139, You formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, Lord, because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. The very fact that you are made by the Creator in His own image, in His likeness, helps you understand your value. Amen. God says, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. Amen. God's love for you and me, it's immeasurable. You can't measure that love. It's unconditional. You cannot do anything to stop him from loving you. Amen. Understanding that you are created by the hands of God. Understanding how much you are loved by God will help you understand your value. Once there was a merchant and he was looking out for some fine pearls. One day, he came across a pearl of great value and he was so happy. He was so excited. He sold everything he had just to get that one pearl. That's what God is telling us. Just like that pearl, that merchant gave up everything to get that pearl. I gave up my son for you. Jesus, he came on this earth for you and me. Jesus, he died on the cross for you and me. Jesus, he shed his blood for you and me. Jesus rose again for you and me. And Jesus is going to come back for you and me. This is what helps us to understand how valuable you are. How valuable I am. God gave his best. Bible says, but God demonstrated his own love towards us. That while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. We didn't deserve, we didn't even understand what what is the love of God? How much he loves us till Jesus came for us. That's what shows how valuable you are. So I encourage you today, no matter what people have told about you, people must have may have told you that you are useless. You are good for nothing. You are worthless. You will never do good in life. You are not going to succeed. You cannot learn this, no matter what they have told about you. But let me tell you, your approval your value does not come from people. What God has to say about you, that is what matters. And God is saying about you, you are valuable. You are important. You are unique. You are my masterpiece. And I have put seeds of greatness in you. And you have the potential to become all that God has created you. Amen. I encourage you all to know that you are precious in the eyes of God. You are his cherished treasure and God loves you. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you next time.
Thank you so much friends for watching the other 167 and now I'm sure that you know the real meaning of precious, valuable. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Whatever the situation may be, just stick to Him, stick to our Lord because we are precious, precious in His holy sight. So friends, if you have any prayer requests, you want to talk to us, you want to share your testimonies with us, please do get in touch with us. We'll be happy. May God bless you.